You had a feeling there would be plenty of scoring between the Jets and Bills in Buffalo, and that's why we bring in now to uh, NFL primetime John Saunders, whose addition skills are superior to the rest of us. John. Plenty of adding to do in this one, and as you would expect, a close one as well. Last season, when the New York Jets were off to a 10-1 start, they piled up two of those wins against Buffalo, but the Bills lost those two by a total of just five points. In fact, thanks to quarterback Jim Kelly, the Bills were in many of their losses last year. Today again, it would be the Kelly and his counterpart, Ken O'Brien Show. Ken O'Brien, of course, of the Jets. A beautiful day in Buffalo, 75,000 on a rich stadium. Machine gun quarterback Jim Kelly got things going in the second quarter. He finds another alumnus from the United States Football League, Trumaine Johnson, for the 26-yard touchdown. Watch the hit Johnson takes as he takes it into the end zone. Buffalo up 7-0 early. That opened the floodgate of points. O'Brien to Wesley Walker, 55 yards on the bomb. What a great grab by Walker, who is legally blind in one eye. You can't tell him to catch that ball. Now, final jet drive of the half. O'Brien, 6-7 of seven on the drive. Here, across the middle to Mickey Schuler. This Schuler's 300th NFL career reception, and it's good for a touchdown, 14-7 at the half. Jets get a field goal to make a 17-7, but Kelly in the closes the gap by hitting Chris Burkett. Now watch it again on the replay on this six-yard touchdown pass. Burkett has Russell Carter all over him. He's draped across him like a rug and still makes the catch. 17-14 Jets on top. A Jets touchdown, and it's 24-14 late in the third quarter. Chris Burkett is nailed again by Russell Carter. Carter trying to do anything he can to stop the completion, and he does. It's pass interference, but he can't believe it. He holds up his hand and says, I did nothing, says Carter. Later in the fourth quarter, big Buffalo mistake. Kelly's pass is deflected and picked off by the linebacker, Bob Crable. He carries this one down to the four-yard line as he has Jim Kelly, the quarterback, making the tackle, getting it down to the four. And here's the clincher. Johnny Hector, who had two touchdowns on the day, goes over the top, does break the plane, gets it in the end zone, 31 to 28. That is the seventh consecutive time that the New York Jets have beaten the Buffalo Bills, although the last three times it's been very close. Ken O'Brien of the Jets, 24 of 35 for 276 yards and the two touchdowns. Johnny Hector, you saw two touchdowns on the ground. Jim Kelly, another good day. 25 of 42, 305 yards and three touchdowns. Now the Bills have just one win in their last 20 games against playoff teams. So as you can see, Buffalo and Jim Kelly cannot do it by themselves. Let's go back to Chris and to Tom.